So we all know about the subreddit A-I-T-A. Am I the jerk cull? <laughs> But we haven't yet listened to me read Am I the Asshole posts and decide definitively if the person is the asshole or not. Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. This is important. I always know who's in the right in every situation. So I figured I should make this video. I'm never wrong. So I went to the subreddit, but all of the ones on the home page, they just weren't giving. So I went to the search bar and searched penis. So I felt like that would get us on the right track. Am I the asshole for getting my wife a penis shaped cake? I mean, just from the headline, it doesn't seem like an asshole. Everyone deserves a penis shaped cake and giving them to people makes you a great person. But we don't know the whole situation yet. I, 34 male, was gearing up to celebrate my 10th anniversary with my wife, 31 female. I had an entire night planned out. Like we were going to be trying a lobster for the first time. Ooh, they're gonna be hitting Red Lobster, okay. Where the conflict arises was the cake. I had too much of it. Just kidding, um, it's not about that. I had always wanted to do a penis shaped cake since I thought it was funny, but I didn't know how my wife would react. However, since it was our 10th anniversary, I figured she would be used to my crude sense of humor. I went ahead and got the cake a couple of days in advance and put it into our fridge. However, my wife snuck a peek and was not pleased. She got really mad at me and accused me of trying to ruin our special night. I thought that was ridiculous, but she's been mad at me ever since. Apparently she spoke with her family about it, and they've been blowing up my phone ever since. They're mostly conservative Mormons. Still don't think I did anything wrong by trying to do something nice for her, but I realized I might be the asshole because I haven't offered to get another cake yet since the mood is kind of ruined. <laughs> I'm so glad I searched penis. Like what? I'm all for giving people penis shaped cakes, but a 10th anniversary? I understand why your wife thinks you're making fun of the whole situation. Like how did he think this was gonna go? We've been together for a decade. I'm so thankful I met you. Our marriage has been wonderful and I got you this cake. I mean, maybe some people would find that funny. I probably would, but I can understand how it kind of just makes it seem like the entire anniversary is a joke. Like you're getting a penis cake. A penis cake. He says he's always wanted to make a penis shaped cake. There's so many other situations where you could do that. Maybe just a random Friday. That would be funny for the wife probably. She gets home from work. Oh, look what we're gonna be eating for dessert. This dong shaped dessert. Like maybe she would find that funny, you know, but the 10th anniversary, <laughs> you're the asshole. They're probably divorced now. Anyway, searching penis also led me to this one. Am I the asshole for putting my penis in peanut butter and leaving it in the kitchen? Sounds like a pretty a-hole thing to do. Let's not judge too soon. Uh, I'm getting hungry, but I don't want to cook. <laughs> well, good thing this video is sponsored by Factor. Come on. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your door. Every Factor meal I've eaten is delicious and they come pre-prepared. Oh, uh, I am starving. Good thing these factor meals can be cooked in two minutes or less, which is perfect for my busy lifestyle. Factor makes it super easy to stick to my clean eating goals. Factor offers keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, and vegan plus veggie options, which includes seafood, meat, and plant-based meals. Factor is now owned by HelloFresh. And with a wider array of meal plans to choose from, there's something for everyone. I love switching between the brands and now my viewers can enjoy both brands at a discount with me. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code LUCAS50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Once again, head to factor75.com or click the link below in the description box and use code LUCAS50 for 50% off your first Factor box. Thanks again to Factor for sponsoring this video and let's get back to it. I'm looking for some assistance determining whether I am the asshole in this situation that has divided our house into two groups. I, 20 year old male, am a college student living with four other guys my age. It's our second year living together. And last year, we had an issue with people eating food that isn't theirs. So now we have a strict label your stuff and only eat things with your name on it policy. My girlfriend and I like to get a bit frisky in the bedroom. And a few nights ago, I dipped my 
my penis in peanut butter and she licked it off. Yes, I understand that this is slightly bizarre, but that's how we roll. To each their own, you know? It's a good way to get some healthy fats and protein while doing other things, you know? I understand the appeal. The controversy is that since we have a mouse problem, I did not want to leave the peanut butter in my bedroom. So afterwards, I closed it and returned it to my kitchen cupboard. Note that it had a huge label on it with my name, so it was clear that it belonged to me. One of my roommates tells me yesterday, oh, by the way, I had some of your peanut butter. He sees my visibly shocked reaction and asked what's up. So ultimately, I come clean about the whole deal. He's furious and says, why the F did you put it back in the kitchen? I remind him of the mouse situation and our policy not to have other people's labeled foods. This is the first time all year that somebody has had my labeled food and informed me after the fact. He said it was just some peanut butter on his bread. It's not like he was taking full chicken breasts from me. My house is split three to two on who was in the wrong and it's spilling over into other aspects of our living situation. We need to get over this pronto. So I'm asking, am I the asshole? <laughs> I mean, go him for at least being honest. He could have never told the roommate, you just ate my schlong butter. My D was on that toast you just ate. But he came clean. He said, you know what? Just want to be honest with you. My genitals were in that peanut butter jar. A lot of people would have just swept it under the rug and never told the truth. I mean, I'm kind of on the side of the guy who wrote this. Like, I mean, yes, maybe you shouldn't be putting stuff that you use romantically back into the kitchen. That's kind of gross, you know? Like maybe you could have put it in the bathroom cup. You know, I'm a little bit mixed. But then again, the roommates aren't supposed to be eating each other's food. They've already had a discussion about this and it was labeled with his name on it. Don't eat your roommate's food. One, because that was the rule and two, because they might've done weird shit to the food. And you have to be prepared for that before you eat it. I wish you good luck. So I was getting kind of bored of the D related, am I the asshole? So I searched BBL. Am I the asshole for not wanting to help my sister after her BBL? <laughs> my sister decided two weeks before my birthday, she was getting lipo and a BBL. That happened to be scheduled for three days before my birthday. Mind you, she never asked me if I'd help her and I still ended up helping her on my birthday, ruining my plans for the day. Sister of the year, which wouldn't be a big deal deal if it wasn't the first time I was gonna celebrate in three years. Fast forward to today, I'm an insomniac. I often don't go to sleep until 3 to 5 a.m., which results in my waking up around 2 p.m. She's blowing up my phone mad because I'm not awake to come help her. I never said that I would. She's just assuming that I would, and I'm in between jobs right now, so I don't have the money or the gas to drive 45 minutes to come help her. Not to mention the fact that she's downright a bitch to me and has never apologized for making fun of my infertility. Amongst other things, I help her with a lot regardless. So am I the asshole? I mean, you don't even need to write this on here. That's how all of these posts go. Like, you're not the asshole. Like, most of the time, it's just kind of obvious. Like, your sister got lipo and butt injections, and you helped her on your birthday, first of all, and now she's mad that you want to sleep in till 2 p.m.? She's making fun of your infertility, amongst other things? Leave her. She can be alone healing from her butt surgery. Like, you already helped enough. Maybe now that she got a BBL, she'll be more happy or something and she'll realize her wrongs and apologize to you and grow as a person as her butt grows. We can only hope. We can only hope. I was kind of bored of the whole BBL of it all. So the next obvious thing to search was gay dad. Am I the asshole for hating my gay dad? <laughs> Fun. My parents' divorce was not a pleasant one. Long story short, it was because my dad was cheating on my mom with his ex-girlfriend, and I was the one that found out about it first. I became estranged with my dad soon after and haven't seen him in months. Cut to now, I found out that my dad was actually a closeted gay. Aw! His relationship with his ex and marriage to my mom was basically him trying to prove to himself that he could become a man. He was also having relationships with other men while he was married to my mom. Aw! Again, my mom is telling me that it's normal to be gay and that I should keep in contact with my dad since we're related by blood, but I can't bring myself to do it. I don't hate gay people. It's just that I feel like my family and my own existence was built on a huge lie. I mean, him being gay doesn't change the fact that he cheated on your mom with women, men, straight up being distrustful, you know? That is funny, the mom being like, come on, talk to him. Just because he's gay, like, that's normal. Like, it's like, mom, I'm not being homophobic. I just don't like him because he cheated on you with multiple men and women. 
Unfortunately, being gay doesn't give you a pass for these things. I wish it did. I wish just the fact of being gay made it so you could do all these horrible things and nobody could say anything because you were gay. If we were living under my rules, that would be how it went. No, um, you're not the asshole. Your gay dad is. Hopefully your dad can go to therapy or like listen to Lana Del Rey or something. I feel like that makes people into better people listening. Just being a fan of Lana Del Rey makes you a better person. So hopefully your gay dad can do that and, you know, grow and maybe one day you guys can reconnect. That one kind of bummed me out. I was like, I thought gay dad stories would have been fun. So I moved into the world of Taylor Swift. Am I the asshole for refusing to sell my Taylor Swift tickets? I, 26 female, have been a Taylor Swift fan since middle school. I say she's gotten me through some pretty rough times. One example is when my neglectful family banned me to my room for a full year with no TV or any entertainment at all. What? I secretly kept one of those tiny iPods and all it had on it was her debut album. I listened to it over and over and over. It was all I had. Okay, that is sad. Uh, you were locked in a room for a year? What? I'd say from then on, I've heard every song, purchased every album, and still listen to her daily. I almost feel like that would be the opposite. If I was locked in a room and all I could listen to was our song for months on end, I feel like I wouldn't be able to return to Taylor Swift, but she had the opposite experience. When she announced her Eras tour, I was so excited. I was going to try my best to get tickets. I did the verified fan, bought 2,000 plus Swifties in the Ticketmaster queue and somehow left with two tickets and the nosebleeds for $150 each on August 5th in SoFi Stadium. She got the tickets! At that moment, I was completely broke, so I had to ask my boyfriend if I could borrow his Amex card to pay for them. He said no numerous times, I think until I had tears in my eyes and had to beg how much it would mean to me, and of course, how I promised to pay him back. He said I had to get the cheapest tickets, but that didn't matter to me. Just being there was my goal. Fast forward to now, tickets are reselling for $2,500 $500 each in the section we are in. He expects me to sell them. I tell him no way. He has been calling me selfish and that I care more about some rich person than my family, him and my child. He is arguing that there is no person in the world he would see for $5,000. I say I didn't pay $5,000. I paid $150, completely paid him back by the way. And the memories mean more to me than the money ever could. He argues I should have known they were going to be a hot item and bought more seats for the sole purpose of reselling. I just say I didn't buy them to resell. I bought them to see my favorite artist. He just keeps listing the stuff we could pay off, my car or, or his student debt, or the vacations we can take instead, Vegas, Disneyland. I just can't give them up. Am I being irrational by not reselling them? Am I the asshole? Okay, I need to go to this person's profile to see the update. Did she end up going to the concert or was she pressured into selling them? She should go. Like she's saying, no amount of money could ever compare to giving money to a, someone who has $300 million. No, honestly, though, she deserves to go to this concert. Taylor Swift's music helped her through her traumatic childhood. Like, seeing her at the Eras tour, it would be full circle, baby. Not like full circle to her being locked in a room, but like, it would be healing, is what I'm trying to say. The boyfriend's like, you should have known they were gonna be a hot item and bought in multiple tickets so we could resell them. Like, he's trying to turn this into a business thing? Capitalism. Can't even get concert tickets without people trying to make it into a money-making venture. Me saying that while this video is sponsored. It's past August now, but if it wasn't, I would DM her and say, girl, let's go together. Don't bring your boyfriend, bring me, which would make him even more mad. And honestly, there'd be no point of her bringing me because she doesn't know me. And that would kind of just be me manipulating the situation so I could see the heiress tour, which I haven't seen and I'm mad about. <sighs> She's not the asshole. I hope you didn't sell the tickets. Naturally, I then went to search the term abs. Am I the asshole for exposing my brother for having fake abs? <laughs> my brother got ab implants a few weeks ago and he keeps posting pics on social media and he keeps talking about his hard work paying off and eating healthy and working out, etc. I'm not saying he doesn't do those things, but those abs are completely fake. We were out with friends and he keeps saying how I'm too lazy to be in good shape. And I just snapped and said, at least I don't don't do surgery to achieve my fitness goals. He got pissed, but tried to act confused and everyone else was too. I said, yeah, those abs are fake implants. He denied it, but it was kind of obvious and started to make sense as these guys saw him shirtless two months ago, which would have been too quick to transition how they are now. He got so pissed and was yelling and cursing me out in private for exposing him. I told him he better stop lying on social media too, or I'd expose him on there. Oh, take him and his 
ab implants down. Look, if you were humble or honest, I wouldn't have an issue. But him lying and trying to claim it's from hard work and even worse, shit on me is just taking it too far. He's not talking to me anymore. My family is pissed at me too. You're not the asshole. Expose him. Comment on every photo he posts with the fake abs claiming he utilized hard work to get them. Make fake accounts once he blocks you. Never let this go. Getting fake ab implants is fine. Like, you don't even have to tell anyone about it if you're embarrassed about it. But then, like, putting other people down saying, you're too lazy to get a good body. It's like, girl, you have water balloons in underneath your stomach skin. I would have had to expose him to. Why is the family mad? Like, maybe they're mad because they're like, now he's, everyone's always gonna know him as the fake ab boy. It's like, well, he, he brought this on to himself. Get fake abs all you want. Inject everything. But don't put down other people in the process is what I always advocate for here on the Chan Chan. And you all know that if you've been watching me for a while. Well, that was beautiful. I'm glad I helped these people with their problems. They're probably never gonna watch this video, so I actually didn't help anyone. But I'm happy I did it anyway. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't help your sister recover from her BBL if she's mean and like isn't appreciative of it. Bye!